Aya Bila, conservative columnist. Nancy, start with you. What's wrong with the cooling off period? We sort of have that with flex spending accounts, health savings accounts. You get to say, hey, take some time, think about it, and if you don't enroll, you, get, you have to pay a penalty to get back in. What's wrong with that? Well, the only problem is that that's like saying that you could buy car insurance after you had an accident, okay? Uh, everyone would do it. That's the easy way out. It's happening um, now, and, right? And that's been the and that's that's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem though. But pe but pe because young people think they uh, you know they don't have to to buy health insurance uh, and others, and then they go to emergency care, and then we all have to pay their burden. So the so you know what it, you really have to have some sort of everybody's in. You're going to pay this thing if you're healthier. You know, and I think the way it's structured, if you're healthier and you you know you pay less. Okay, Jedediah, um, what do you think? But but to say like that you completely just only buy in. When you're sick, when you need well, cancer, you have, he's saying, no, when the Senate, you wait, hang on a second, Nancy. Jedediah, the senator is saying you get a time for when you want to decide to whether or not to buy the insurance, and if you right. if you blow that time period off, you then have to pay the penalty. Right. I think the mandate. He's is, not letting you out of the mandate. I don't think. Right. right. The mandate's unconstitutional. Are, 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 but, no but doubt. Are we going to deny that? Nancy, person. let's get Jedediah. Go ahead. I think okay. the mandate's unconstitutional. I think Obamacare needs to be repealed and replaced in its entirety. It's not only the mandate, which yes, as we said, is constitutional, but you know this is going to lead to more health care spending, higher costs, lower quality of care. The whole reason this was created was to keep costs down. It's not going to do that. Yeah, but you know, but you're making a very important point there. But Ronnie, Nancy's point is, is that we all have to pay the bill if people don't have to carry health insurance and they buy it at the 11th hour and then they end up in the emergency room. What do you make, though, of that and also the senator's plan? Well, here's one of the big problems out there. We knew we were in trouble when Speaker Pelosi said, we got to pass it and then see what's in it. We're going to see layer by layer peeled back on this thing. They should have piecemealed it up front. And what they should have done is had bipartisan support, slow bipartisan support to see what's working and not. We know this is not working. Ben Nelson okay. is right. He's going to peel it back. E okay. You did Final not point. answer Emac's question. You did not, sir, answer her question, which was to my point. If you are allowed to buy it at the 11th hour only when you need it, how does the system work? You completely bypass that question. All right, final point. Nancy no. got the final word.